I'm going to go big, go home here. So I think that the this dark color, this is going to be the shadows. We'll, we'll add everything else on top of it. So we're just going to color in the bottom here, just the whole thing. We'll just, uh, just do it like this <laughs> real quick. Just a uh, free hand, free hand, free and crazy. That's what we're looking for. You know, nature doesn't conform to uh, patterns and all your nonsense like that. Nature does whatever it wants to. And look, perfect. Free, perfect. Nailing it. All right, honestly, that could have been the background, but uh, it's neither here nor there. All right, now we want... Uh, Let's just call it greenery too, because I'm just gonna layer it up with some extra, um, some extra lighter green stuff on top. We are going to put leaves in, but I feel like for this moment, let's not do that, um, because I don't think we're quite ready. Because we want, so if you think of light coming down through a garden. You're thinking, you know, the, the there's shapes of leaves in there, but there's kind of un they're they're not they're not perfectly uh they're I don't even want to use necessarily this brush. Well, yeah, I do. Just to make it a little smaller. All right, so we want like vaguely geometric shapes now. Yeah, I like that. You don't know, like it like it was an eight bit like it was a uh, an eight bit texture. You know, like a background texture. I'm thinking like Super Mario 64 kind of thing. This is this is going awesomely. I'm hoping that our skill with flowers and leaves will be enough to really pull this together, but thus far I'm liking how this is turning out. All right, little geometric shapes here. It's okay if they connect because that's how light is. We're just making we're just making some background foliage, a little. It's like a it's like we're honestly. It's kind of like we're making a camouflage on the page. The more of these I do, I'm sure the better, the better and smoother it will be. Although I'm pretty sure no one actually just uses the pencil and then just draws it. But you know what? We do in this house. <laughs> we do in it. Yep, very camo esque. I, I feel like camo has a lot more like leopard pattern though, you know, a circle with like a circle in it, and uh, that's not what's happening here, because I can't think of any leaf that would leave like a, a hole in the center of it, so we won't do that. This is gonna look, I like, I like the idea of this with the bees though. I'm really excited. I'm so excited to draw bees. I love bees. I love drawing bees. I like looking at them on flowers. Especially if we draw this this big, we can make the bees really tiny and cute. So here we go. All right, this is taking this is taking a long time. I was not expecting this to take so long, but maybe that's the price to pay for uh, for a <laughs> good camo pattern. This gives it value, maybe that you take so long. Hey, Indominus! What's going on? Welcome to uh, welcome to what is normally uh, normally some indie games, but we're mixing it up with some uh, free doodles, some some doodle 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 ronies. Hey, pineapple girl! Hey, it's my whole crew. It's the Smarty Gang. What's going on, homies? Welcome to the stream. Um, welcome to uh, welcome to still life with bees. <laughs> That's what we're drawing right now. Although actually, what we're drawing right now is I'm painstakingly designing some uh, some some bright spots in amongst these uh, this greenery. But uh, I'm so happy to see y'all here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the sound of my voice delights, and uh, you can see a finished painting. You guys want to see something I just did? Here, we just uh, look at this shark. We just finished this shark. Uh, we just finished this cow. As you can see, I'm a master artist. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, visual art is not as much my medium as miniatures, which I love to show my miniatures, but like, I, the camera can't even really pick them up here. This is a, this is a, this is more of my forte, honestly. Um, but like, but, but, you know, art's art. Once you know a little bit of something, you can know a more of a, of a different thing. So. 
<laughs> no, it's not that great. It's fine. I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, Smurfy. Uh, you'll be especially uh, interested to know this, that I just, I just put in an order for a document camera. And it's going to allow me to have the kind of uh, the kind of resolution that I'll actually be able to do some miniature painting on stream. So I'm really happy about this. All right, I gotta get these. I gotta get these little blotches on this on this bush. I know it's gonna be so. It's gonna absolutely be poggers. And then you. And then hopefully I can show you guys. Uh, I can show all of you um, my uh, miniature painting as well. Yeah, I should have put this under art, but I did a, I did a, I ran a poll to see what everybody wanted, and some of the options were video games, not art, so I didn't, I didn't actually bother, uh, I didn't, I didn't put this in the art category, even though I guess it's, I guess it's art, like do doodles are art. Yeah, I've seen some really, really talented miniature painters on Twitch, too. It's true. They're, they're actually extremely... Uh, extremely impressive, and uh, I hope to be among their number. The miniature painting community is some of the greatest people I've ever met, so I love it. <laughs> it is definitely art. It's 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 art for sure. This is what the people have. This is what the people have come to see. <laughs> uh, blotches on green. Although, actually, speaking of blotches on green, these blotches on green are looking cute. Okay. All right, so this is a uh, this is my greenery. I actually forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, I was celebrating the follows. Thanks, Indominus Hayden. Thanks, Pineapple Girl. I love you guys. I'd love to see you here. Um, let me give you. I I don't have a, I don't have alert box. So let me give you my very special uh, my special follow greeting. This one's this one's for uh, Indominus specifically. Tiny heart. Medium sized heart. Big heart. And then if we have two people on stream, super big heart. <laughs> Woo! Yes, Murphy Red affiliate. Here we come. Woo! Uh, this is for pineapple girl. Tiny heart. Medium sized heart. Big heart. Super big heart. And then Lady Link Gaming too. My best friends. Tiny heart. I'm I'm really truly it's. <sighs> I think I'm doing it wrong, because I think it's supposed to be actually like this. <laughs> I'm doing my own greeting wrong. Alright, I'm going to try again. Lady Link. Tiny heart. Medium sized heart. Super big heart. Way big heart. It's like the tiny shark. It's like the uh, baby shark song. I'm sorry to everyone who I just got that in their heads. Alright. Alright, that's enough. Uh, that's enough wonderful shenanigans. We have We have art to do folks. We have art, and I need a new layer. Alright, what's gonna go on top of here? We want the vines. Well, it's more like the stems. We're doing flowers, so it's more like stems. So, let's, uh... Smurfy, you do some art. Have you ever used, uh, have you ever used GIMP to make any of your art? Get some, uh... Well, stems aren't very brightly colored. They're just, they're just uniform, really, aren't they? Let's see here. I appreciate all the follows, guys. Thanks for joining me on the channel. I'm I'm really touched. I'm really very touched by uh, by your support, and uh, I I really love every one of you. All right. See you. See you, in Dominus. Have a good. Uh, see you in a sec. I guess. Be right back. No, oh, I don't like drawing these straight lines in here. That's gonna. I want. I want like. Maybe, yeah, that's a little bit better, a little bit more. That's how nature is, right? It's a little bit more freeform, a little bit, uh, it doesn't confine itself to these artificial human boundaries. Maybe, although actually, this is all starting to look a little uniform. It's hard to be as random as nature can be sometimes. I feel like we're going to have a lot of leaves to draw. I should remember that this is a, just a doodle and not a huge art piece, because I'm going to get carried away otherwise. Um, I really will. It's fun, though. We'll do a little more ziggy snakes. Ziggy zaggy snakes. Whee! Maybe too much. There's, there's too much zag in some of these <laughs> zigzags, so I won't lie to you. 
Oh, uh, that that's gonna be fine though, because we're gonna have flowers and we're gonna have leaves and it's looking very green. That's why we've got all these greenery layers up, but we build it up. You build it up from the ground up, just like a, just like anything else, like a house, like a shed, uh, whatever, whatever you might have in mind. That looks great. I mean, it's fine. It's good. I think we should choose a different color though. Get some other stems in here, maybe a different size too, because these are all very large. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is coming together nicely. Visual interest, I think, is what this is called. We're building it. Yeah, here um, we'll pause. We'll pause momentarily. I'm gonna show you guys uh, I'm gonna show you guys my uh, my other workspace over here. A little like sneak preview, I guess. Um. Come with me here. Let me get the let me get the big camera on here. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Let me show you my. Uh, so this is a this is actually my miniature painting area. Um, see, I've, I was working on a project in black and white, right here, but uh, I've got my uh, my uh, paint paint supplies and my uh, little uh, uh, palette and all that jazz and some miniatures that I've been working on over there so uh, yeah anyway anyway that is just a quick a quick aside I'm sorry I'm not very focused on my on my drawing let's get blue we gotta get back in it though there we go all right. Is I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys how this is going to turn out. It's uh, much like any kind of art. It never really looks good at the start. That's my personal opinion. Or at least I. It looks great when you first start, and then there comes this period where you look at your own art and you're like, "This is the actual worst. Like this is never going to look good." And it's every time. And then I swear about you know, maybe 2015, somewhere between like, somewhere between 15 minutes and an hour after that point, then you look at it again and you're like, man, this is actually really good. Um, all right, let's get some, uh, let's get some flowers in here. It's going to be flowers one. I w don't, I haven't figured out how to make it do the transparency all the time. Um, without me having to manually put it in. There may be no way to do it. I'm gonna start with some bright pops. Let's uh let's do um Ziggy's mom has followed. Nice! Thanks for the follow! Let me give you uh let me give you my uh my uh tiny heart medium heart I keep doing the medium heart medium heart big heart really big heart thanks for the follow I appreciate it all right, here we go. We'll just do some simple flowers. Eh, should I do an actual flower shape? Like what? Like I feel like I, I have a vision in my head of really good flowers, but we're using a mouse and we're using a big old and we're trying to do it quickly. I'm using a big old pencil, so I don't think I don't think that my vision of flowers. I don't know that it's gonna look quite as uh, it's gonna look quite as as perfect a flower as I'm picturing in my head but maybe we can do maybe we can do it. the flowers are also not going to be perfectly shaped because there's going to be leaves like uh, over some of them although I suppose we can build that into the scene later let's just draw some pink flowers here for the moment then we're going to get some bees as demanded by uh, Sunday streamer Leo Welcome to the channel, all of the new people. Don't always do art, although I'm hoping to do way more in the future, mostly miniatures. Uh, have any of y'all played the game, uh, any puzzle games? Like, uh, I've been playing the, the Room lately, and I liked how it started out, uh, because it was, um, because it, whoopsies, that one's open at the bottom. Ah, I should have noticed that. I was, uh, play in the room because uh, it starts out as kind of like a creepy puzzle game, which I thought was pretty cool. 
Oh, it's also open, of course, because it's on the side. But then it went straight horror, horror and I was not super prepared. <laughs> I should have known. It's this you never, ju you very rarely just get creepy games without them going full horror at some point. Um, let's keep choosing different kinds of greens to add, you know, little something something to our uh, to our scene here. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually so that's uh so that's flower so let's uh, I want to add I want to add some leaves already um, so let's get that let's that, get that going on boom here we go some leaves beautiful I'm I'm loving it just like McDonald's. It looks kind of plain right now with just the with just the just the pink flowers. Certainly, uh, certainly, this is no uh, no speed painting contest. That's for sure. I'm trying to put them around each of the flowers to give it that nice contrast. Because when we come back and we do the other things, we can do this too. Here we go. Let's do one on the other side too. Hey, I really like that. That's turning out great. All right, here we go. Boom, nailing it. It's happy trees. I feel like I feel like this is a. How long? How long did? How long were Bob Ross's? Uh, I'm not wearing my Bob Ross shirt. I have a Bob Ross shirt. I should wear it for these kind of artsy fartsy streams. Um. It's a, it's a, it's Bob Ross. He's painting, he's painting the universe. It's a, it was a gift to me from one of my coworkers. It's very, it's very cool. Doesn't that look way better now? It looks so 3D. I am actually pretty hype to see this come along. And you guys have been here for the ride. All right, let's uh, let's do more flowers. That was just enough leaves to make it pull together a little bit more. Can I go back up to there? Set my transparency. Yep, yep, that specifically. Thank you, yes. Alright, let's do... What do these flowers look like? These are probably more like this, huh? Oh, this is gonna take me forever if I do it if I do it by hand like this. That's okay though. I kinda like it. Uh, this is a peaceful meditation practice, y'all. <laughs> so uh, this is called uh, the sunburst flower, and it only grows in certain parts of the Twitch stream. Thanks, Roger. That y'all, it's coming along. It's looking, it's looking uh, very uh, mound of flowers esque. I kind of was thinking to go for a field of flowers, but it's got, it's got, it's got humps my friends it's got ridges just like uh ripples so ripples have ridges is that the advert I don't remember it's definitely an old advert though I know it's it's uh hey Leo it's Smarpy's uh it's Smarpy and the gang it's my uh it's my favorite guys and gals from over on uh Smarpy's stream if you're here just for my stream and you aren't subbed to uh, Smarpy, you guys absolutely should. His stream is poggers as all heck. It's uh, a lot of shiny hunting. He's a really nice guy. Interactive with chat. Um, MVP for sure. <laughs> You, you, you could definitely tell if you if you knew him for if, if you go check out the stream even for just a few seconds it'll immediately become apparent to you this is uh, there we go it's got some orange flowers now this is great and they're they're different and I like that I like that too let's do what color of flowers should we do next what's next chat what colors we've got we've got pink and we've got orange what else do you guys want to see? Let's uh, hit my transparency here. Boom. There we go. Blue? Okay. Alright. Let's do some blue flowers. 
Aren't they though? Absolutely the best, the best people on the net. I know it. Hands down. I think, I think blue flowers, you know, the only blue flowers, blue is an odd color for flowers, and that's what makes it so valuable. Um, but most of the blue flowers I've seen are these kind of like cone-shaped flowers. So let's do some, uh, I think it's bee, I think bees are the ones that like a blue flower because, uh, bees see into the ultraviolet, and they, uh, yeah, yeah, for blue water drinking. That is, that is correct. That's my, uh, that's my channel colors. My, my channel colors. Yes, the lavender looking ones, exactly. I believe they're called, well, there's purple cone flowers, but those are, those are more spread out. These are called, um, blue sylvia? Roger that, y'all, I know you know this. Uh, with your intense flower knowledge. Is it blue Sylvia? That's got the that looks like the things that I'm drawing, the the tall the tall blue ones. This almost hurt I feel like is, is this hurting Meryl's eyes, this color contrast? <laughs> I do love it, but it is it is it is bright. I think this is gonna look awesome it's done. I wanna fill up the sky too. There's all this white space up here. Um that's gonna that's the realm of the bees. We're gonna draw the bees up there. I, I could be bucket filling. This is just uh this is just um just doing some meditative practice. Breathe in. You breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Perfect. Now we're now we're in the correct headspace for uh for drawing some flowers. However, I am gonna switch to bucket fill just just for expediency's sake. <laughs> that one looks inappropriate. Please ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> it won't. It won't when we add the decor. Decor. Here we go. We're almost. We're almost to the end of our uh, our flower fresco. Uh, I didn't like that one. That one's too much like the one next to it. We'll just leave that space free. Some some free green space. There we go. There we go. Now let's now let's hit now let's hit the bucket. Now we're now we're cooking with bacon grease. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta aim the Aim the crosshairs. I wonder if this helps you with uh with uh shooting games because you gotta aim the crosshairs perfectly. <laughs> A fantastical creature flying overhead. Okay. All right. All right. What are you thinking? Uh, fantastical creature. I kind of want to put some purple on here. Let's do some uh some purple. Yeah, that looks fun. Little purple dotted plants. Man, Smarfy Skanks here. We're doing some drawing. I I am having an absolute blast. Uh, this is one of the funnest streams that I've had, honestly. And all we're we're just doing some doodles, man. <laughs> just has a little crown. That's fine though. I just don't want him floating in the air. I would drink some soda stream labs. I'm actually out though. That's uh that's not great cuz this room gets really hot with the uh, with the computer during the Oh yeah, were you? Hey, Steve Olan. Woo -hoo! Yeah, that uh rap stream was yesterday. We do a uh Leo and I do a collab stream playing raft every Sunday. Um it's one of our most popular streams actually is our raft stream. And uh, they just came out with a new raft update, so that's gonna be uh, a little. I well, I'll I say we'll be trying it out next weekend. We are nowhere near the point in the game where like, you know, plot is happening to a serious way with us yet. Um, we're I think we're really far along in building things, but really not far along in plot. So that's that's how uh, that's how it be. But yeah, that's me and me and Leo. Um, that's my, uh, so 
Uh, I'm Blue Water, and Leo is uh, my younger sister. And uh, that's a uh, Sunday stream. I was trying to get together uh, an Among Us group with uh, on Sundays with Leo's friends, but apparently most of them live on the... Uh, I think it's the uh, the West Coast. Yay! All the fathers, Steve O'Lime. I was in the middle of talking and I completely forgot to do uh, the 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 cheer out for it. Steve O'Lime, thanks for the follow. Tiny heart, medium sized heart, big heart, even bigger heart. Boop boo. You guys, I've been I've been practicing this art right now and also other times just so uh just so I can uh b make some um make some really cool uh twitch emotes. Uh I like to say woo a lot, so that's going to be one of them. And then we also have some other um last Saturday. No, was it last Saturday? A Saturday day before last. Uh, I made uh, the hype emote, so um, I'm I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm, I'm welcoming you with open arms, and I hope that uh, you'll be uh, hope that I can provide something for you, a little uh, a little spark of joy to your day. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what does this painting need? It needs. Are we ready for bees? Someone said, uh, Roger that, y'all. Fantastical creature. Any ideas? Like, what to what sort, what, what kind of fantastical creature are we talking here? I'm gonna put little, uh, little centers to the pink flowers, I think. I don't know if I want green, though. Maybe I want green? Do I want green? I don't know if I want green centers to the pink flowers. I haven't decided yet. Maybe. Just think about think about what uh think about what uh kind of kind of fantastical creature we want dragons I like dragons that's a dragoon drag that's part of my name man I could do that all right bye Smarpy it was great having you here yeah seriously you have a great one too man um stay cool stay frosty rock on. I'll see you probably, uh, if I'm being quite frank, uh, probably tomorrow, uh, if, you, if you're streaming. If not, I'll catch you on the flip side. Alright, let's see. I think this, I think this garden is complete. Alright. Yes, yes, mystical creatures, we're doing it. But, but first we have to do bumblebees, because I promised. A fairy would be good. Alright, let's do, let's do cute bumblebees. Bumblebees are essentially... Essentially, uh, I don't know, I don't really like that. I think I'm gonna do really tiny bumblebees. But they're essentially tiny, tiny circles here. So we'll just draw some little tiny circles. And we'll, uh, have you guys seen that image of the bumblebees sleeping in a flower? Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, because you guys need to see this if you haven't, haven't. Bumblebees, it's just like a whole collection of bumblebees sleeping in flowers. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, let me uh let me go check out the the let me link you all the site of of bumblebees and flowers. Here we go. Bit of a long link, but let's check this out. This is from Board Panda. This is uh this is what I'm picturing as I'm drawing these uh as I'm drawing these tiny bees. It's just these uh these <laughs> these little bee butts coming out of flowers and these little bees all curled up. We're gonna get to drawing the actual bee parts in a second. Oh no, I'm, I didn't even I forgot to make a new uh a new layer. I know we should have done that a little while ago, but I'm not gonna erase it. We're just gonna we're just gonna um. We're just gonna start one now, and some of the bees will be on the other layer, and that's gonna be how it is. So I'm just gonna have to deal. There we go. There's another bee. Another bee. All right, let's go to let's get the little let's get a little black bee butts. 
and a little and a little stripe. There we go. Well, that one didn't really get striped striped well. Should probably make some of the bees going the other direction, huh? It's hard to it's hard to mentally change change directions. Old bee butt, old bee stripe. I actually, uh, I don't have it here to show you, but I actually painted up a much, much more, this is a doodle and it's digitally and I'm using a mouse, but, um, much more polished than this. Uh, I actually painted a, here, I painted a, a wine glass. I've got these, uh, I've got these, uh, give me a second. Let me grab one over here for you. I've got these, uh, special paints that you can use to paint glass with. And I actually painted uh, a fresco of like uh, undersea corals with uh, little tiny, tiny fish, tiny uh, bee puffer fish on the corals. So um, I'm kind of reminded of that as I'm painting these bees. It just brings back fond memories. I wish I had it to show you guys, but uh, I have like a, a deal. A uh, sweet deal with a local artist shop where I put some of my work, and uh, that's where that's where it's residing right now. So I don't have it uh, on hand to show you. All right, let's make little bee antenna. I don't think I don't think these are big enough to make a whole. Oh my god, look how cute that is! It's so cute. I don't think we have enough to make a uh, enough space to make a little head, but these look so cute. Look at it fly through the air, it's adorable! Adora bees! Put these little bees on these little flowers. I have to remember which way the front of the bee is and which way the butt of the bee is. This is my life now. <laughs> Remembering bee directions. Still though. I... There we go. Wait, one more. Did I get them all? Is that all the bees? Look how great that looks. I love all the bees. Okay, so we, uh, alright, 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 alright. We're gonna shift, uh, shift gears entirely. Alright, dragons or fairies? Um, let's see. Let's do, let's do a dragon, but let's not do, uh, let's not do a European dragon. Let's do a, um, Let's do a uh, Eastern, Eastern style dragon. So I feel like the 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 sinuous shape will be a little bit better. Um, let's uh let's experiment with the bucket fill. Um, we could do a pattern fill, and I could check out what patterns there are, and we could see if there's a really good one for sky maybe. Yeah, that looks horrible actually. <laughs> <laughs> I regret everything. All right, what if we just did? What if we just did? I didn't want to do the whole thing. I just wanted to do the background. Oops, probably the greenery actually. There we go. Well, it's a little dark. I think. I think we wanted to go a little bit lighter. I just, I just want enough so that I can draw puffy white clouds. And they'll actually look like clouds. That that was my entire goal. Um, so we've got the dragon, but actually I want to do another layer. We I haven't even started the dragon layer, but let's uh, let's do clouds first. Let's do clouds. This is an appropriate number of layers. See, this is what I have forgotten to do uh, last time. So that's what I that's because uh, when you because I'm I'm learning this uh, whole thing. But when I what I have learned is that the more layers you have, the more you can manipulate stuff. Um, much more to your liking. So let's do some clouds. There we go. Beautiful puffy cloud. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I, that I, my only problem with, like, bucket filling with, like, clouds is that there's, there should be, I feel like, my favorite way to draw clouds is that, is to have, like, a little line to demarcate, you know, because clouds aren't all one color, have a little line to demarcate um, the the center of the cloud. I think I'll do that in a second, though. 
like because you can do clouds like this too where you just draw like a beam shape and then you know you have your other cloud over here like that that's an easy easy peasy way to draw some clouds um, I just want a little little tiny bit of color because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna add some shading to this cloud um, just like yeah that that's about right that's about the kind of color that I was hoping to get does it is it even showing up over there on the streamlabs it is it is uh, what's an environmental science take all of my takes are environmental science that's what happens when you when you have a degree in environmental science you start doing everything <laughs> everything by the uh, by the science There we go. Now we're going to smooth it out a little bit with the smudge tool. Give it that nice fluffy, fluffy cloud feel. Perfect. I'm loving this still life with bees, y'all. I'm, I'm loving it. I think there's going to be a little bit of a cloud uh, crease. Cloud crease right here. And then maybe one over here too. a little bit up top here like that yeah there we go perfect perfect and then we'll smudge it out a little bit to give it a a fluffier a fluffier cloud feel to it <laughs> it's, it's a butt cloud don't worry about it there we go we got another couple of nice clouds now this is uh this is coming along